Draft control of tobacco products and electronic delivery systems bill won't reduce cigarette sales or smoking-related harm in the country. That's according to tobacco company Philip Morris South Africa. The bill is expected to regulate the use, marketing and sales of tobacco products and e-cigarettes in the country. To help us unpack this, I'm joined by the head of corporate communications at Philip Morris South Africa, Richard Haji. Richard, good afternoon. Thank you so much uh, for spending a bit of time with us here on ENCA. Okay. Okay, so first question, you're saying this bill will not effectively reduce cigarette sales or smoking-related harm in the country. Why? Good afternoon, Tony, to you and your viewers, and thank you for having me. I think the uh, key word here is effectively. Uh, there, are, there are ways to uh, supplement or complement the bill, which could be way more effective. So what this means is that there are measure, measures in place today that... Uh, discourage people from starting to smoke cigarettes and also encourage those who are smokers to quit. However, there are what are called tobacco harm reduction measures whereby those who, while understanding what the harms and risks of smoking are, will otherwise continue to smoke cigarettes. So instead of leaving them to continue smoking cigarettes, they should be uh, informed and, and given access to less harmful alternatives to smoking cigarettes. And the bill, by not differentiating between these products and cigarettes, is, is basically missing a trick. Okay, so you, you, you're talking about, uh, you know, we're talking about e-cigarettes e and vapors and all, the, all, all the, uh, the new stuff that we're seeing on the market now. But the World Health Organization came out and said they're concerned by these particular products, A, because we don't really understand yet uh, the effects they have on our health. And secondly, the fact that most of them are being marketed to children and adolescents, that should be of, of concern, surely. No, 100%. I think that you know, we, we, we must start with what's important here, which is that uh, non-smokers shouldn't smoke, youth should not smoke, and they should not be marketed to. These products are intended for a particular audience. These are adult smokers who would otherwise continue smoking cigarettes. Now, there is sufficient evidence, and there are uh, a number of parties, not just, uh, not just companies or those who have commercial interests, but there are a number of tobacco harm reduction advocates who challenge this view, uh, who are also, uh, in, in many countries, you see a, a growing body of scientific evidence pointing to the fact that these products have the ability to be um, less harmful than, than continued smoking. Now, what makes this possible is that uh, these products don't burn tobacco. When you burn tobacco, you release about 6,000 chemicals, about 100 of which have been identified by public health experts as being responsible for smoking-related diseases. These products, because they don't burn tobacco, they significantly reduce the amount of harmful chemicals. So, for example, in a product like uh, a, heat, a heated tobacco product like ICOS, which we commercialize in South Africa, this reduces the level of uh, harmful chemicals compared to cigarettes by 95%. Yes, it's not risk-free. Yes, it contains nicotine, which is, uh, which is addictive. But the thing is that if you can offer people better alternatives and they, they are fundamentally different from cigarettes, why should they be regulated in the same way? Have you made representations to government? And if so, what reaction did you get? Look, we, we in the past have made representations and we will continue to do so. The bill has not yet been tabled in, in Parliament since 2018, and that date will come up in the future. And at that time, we, and I believe others as well, will also make representations uh, with, with similar viewpoints. Uh, Philip Morris, uh, are, you, are you into uh, vaping products? We, we, we do commercialize vaping products in certain parts of the world. Uh, so we, we have not commercialized a vape, uh, a vape or e-cigarette product in South Africa. Uh, though we, we have in other countries. In South Africa, we've commercialized a heated tobacco product, which it's similar to a, a vape or an e-cigarette in that it does not burn tobacco and it does not produce smoke. Uh, but where it's different is that it uses real tobacco and uh, vapes or e-cigarettes use, use liquids. So uh, what we find is that in, in the markets that we've launched in, we've actually been very successful and a high rate of conversion from people who change to ICOS and, and stop smoking. Um, it's so, where it's similar is that neither uh, a heated tobacco product or uh, a vapor product burn tobacco, both of them heated, but it's different because it uses real tobacco. Uh, are vaping products, uh, can they be addictive? 
Look, um, these products contain nicotine. Nicotine is addictive, yes. Um, but nicotine is also not the primary cause of smoking-related disease. We find nicotine in uh, patches, in gums, in nicotine replacement therapies. It, it is addictive and it's not risk-free, but it's not the primary cause of smoking-related diseases. The primary cause is the burning of tobacco because that's what releases the majority of harmful chemicals which are responsible for uh, smoking-related diseases. So these products considerably reduce that. They contain nicotine because nicotine is one of the reasons that, that people smoke. There are other reasons as well, uh, but nicotine is one of the reasons that people smoke. So this is why if you want to get people to move from a less uh, or more, the most harmful product, which is smoking cigarettes, to less harmful products like heated tobacco and e-cigarettes, it does need to contain nicotine in order to enable people to make that switch. But, but Rashad, why, why introduce something that's addictive into the market in the first place? Um, the thing is that there are already more than a billion smokers around the world. In South Africa, there are 11 million smokers, right? So um, there, there are people who are uh, already addicted, but they are uh, they're delivering nicotine in the most harmful way possible, and that's by burning tobacco. Now, what we've seen on average is that one in 10 people successfully quits. So what do you do about the other nine? Do you say, okay, well, we lead you to continue smoking cigarettes, or do we take a harm reduction approach where we say, we may not be able to completely stop the behavior, but let's offer you something that is less harmful. And we do this in many other industries, uh, in many other types of human behavior that could have uh, a harmful impact on a person. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Richard, for chatting with us today. That was uh, Richard Haji, head of corporate communications at uh, uh, Philip Morris South Africa. They're saying the uh, control of tobacco products and el electronic delivery systems bill will not effectively reduce cigarette sales or smoking-related harm in the country.